Um, well, this has been an exciting adventure and um, testing was originally the bulk of my job and now it's kind of shifted and um, the house coordinator has become a huge part, which I'm thrilled because that's where my heart really lies. We started this whole adventure in 2015-16 when our superintendent, Karen Walters, who was our assistant superintendent at the time, said she wanted a, us to create a more personalized learning environment at the high school. But when she uh, posed that question to us, we thought, wow, okay, where do we start? Um, and so we decided to survey our students. And thinking that we were going to get non-college bound students, we were very surprised by the results. It was across the board, college bound um, AP students, working students, students providing for their families, all the way down um, said, yes, yes, yes. We need more personalized learning, more relevant learning and internship opportunities. It made our head spin for a while because we thought, okay, we got, we, our kids are asking for something that we're not providing. And uh, so we did start with the internship program and it was a homegrown, our own invention. Uh, we looked at the state program, uh, the CTE program, and took parts of it, but we had to make it relevant for our students. After that, we started saying, okay, what's the next step? We know this is what they're needing, but we've got to go further. And uh, so we started investigating career academies, career houses. We weren't real sure what direction we wanted to go. We um, created uh, focus groups, teacher focus groups. Uh, we brought in parents, we started interviewing students. So we decided on uh, four houses and those were the programs that we already had in place and we knew in time those might change and uh, morph into other things but um, we have the arts and communications house, the business and entrepreneurship house, the human services, education and health sciences house, and the STEM and manufacturing house. We surveyed, Google surveyed the students and they were able to choose which house depending on their interest in that field. 100% were not able to and they never will be able to 100% because that's just how high school scheduling works. But we were able to get as close as possible. And each year we're hoping to get a little more pure with those choices. Um, but we used a fantastic tool called Youth Science. You may have heard of it. It is, um, it is uh, interest, inventory, and aptitude brain games, basically. It's a little different, in it, but it is amazing. What was so attractive about Youth Science was that it's not a typical questionnaire that students fill out, and then you get a report saying that you would be a great forest ranger, um, like everybody gets. Um, but it actually takes how well you do on brain games um, and populates very um, weirdly but strangely accurate report on what you would do well with based off of how you perform in those surveys um, as well as um, or those games um, as well as the interests that you input. Um, again, it explores based off of how you performed in this, these are the attributes that are needed to perform this job well. So if students do go into it knowing what they wanna do later in life, it can give those students a lot more confidence to jump into those professions. Um, how that fits in our houses is it allows those students to then have those experiences in the classroom and really hone in on their skills. And then we have buzz time which turned out to be a huge, huge success. Buzz time is Tuesday and Thursday and teachers offer whatever they would like. If the teacher is good in knitting, we have some that are doing knitting, they offer a knitting class. Uh, we have, oh my, the, the whole gamut of fun things to RTI, to um, AP uh, tutoring, whatever the student is needing. This teacher has the freedom to offer that class and then the students are able to um, select which one they 
want to be in. Whenever students choose their houses in ninth grade, they fill out the career house choice form. Um, it lets them pick what they want to do in the future. It also lets them pick unsure, um, but then it also allows them to rank their houses. So if they don't get their first choice due to space, um, because we are limited, because each teacher um, who is an advisor is assigned a house. Um, so um, with each advisory group, um, it's kind of based off of their choice. Um, so we're limited on space. So if students do not get the, the house that they want, they are able to participate in those advisory and bus time lessons that Evelyn mentioned. Um, so in 10th grade, what we're hoping um, to begin implementing is that those classes are honed into their house that they're in. So if a teacher is in the business house and teaches world history, we're hoping that they'll bring that business to the forefront of their class and use that as a lens into them teaching that content. And hopefully we'll start um, building those programs into the core classes and allowing students who are in those houses to really hone in not just an advisory but on what they want to do in their future careers.